NCBA is the cattle industry's oldest and largest national organization, in large part because it remains a grassroots-run association where members come together to set policy positions. Joining me now to talk about this is Kendall Frazier, CEO of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Kendall, talk us through how policy actually gets made within NCBA. It's an often confused topic. NCBA policy starts at the grassroots with county meetings or state affiliate meetings in the summer and fall. They take the policy that advances out of those meetings to our annual cattle industry convention in January. And that at that convention, our committees work on policy, our board then approves it, and that's really interim policy. And then at our summer meeting, we finalize that policy, and then we send it to members in a mail ballot. So that's the process. There's a lot of different hands that touch it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different discussion and debate before it becomes our final process. Well, as you indicate, uh, that process will be on display next week at the uh, annual summer business meeting right here in Denver. What makes that meeting so special? It's a business meeting only, uh, and compare that to our annual convention where we have a trade show and some other activity going on. Our summer meeting is really a meeting of our committees and our board of directors, and it really is all business. They come in for a couple of days, consider policy resolutions, talk about current issues that the association is working on, but it's all business. So give us some insight on what are the key issues that will be discussed next week. Issues like uh, environmental issues, uh, land use related issues, trade related issues, a lot of discussion in agriculture and the beef industry about trade and how important it is to us and the administration's strategy on trade. So there'll be a lot of discussion about that. There'll be a lot of discussion about the fake meat issue, mm -hmm. some of these alternative proteins that are spawning and growing up around the country and being marketed through channels now. Mm -hmm. So those would just be some of the issues that we talk about. So if folks can't make it next week, uh, what would you tell them in terms of getting involved in uh, future summer business meetings and, and why their participation is so important at any rate? Well, we welcome the participation from our members in these committee meetings. And to get involved, I would encourage them to go to their state cattlemen's association meetings mm -hmm. where committees are meeting at the state level. If you're interested in advancing some policy, go to those committee meetings interact with other committee members because that's really where our policy comes from. Mm -hmm. Fantastic suggestion. Thank you so much for coming and have a great week next week. Thank you, Kevin. Now remember, if you'd like a chance to be part of the policymaking process, start by contacting your state cattlemen's association, as Kendall indicated, to find out what policy your state will be discussing at the cattle industry summer business meeting. This is where policy and direction for NCBA will be set, so make sure you have a say in this process. This year's meeting is set for August 1st through the 4th right here in Denver, Colorado. Visit ncba.org for details on how you can attend. We're back right after this. Stay with us.